Welcome to this presentation. In this, we are going to realize the half subtractor using NOR gate only. So till now, you already done the realization of the half subtractor by using the NAND gate and you know what is the difference D. It is given as A XOR B where A and B are two numbers and the borrow is given as complement of A B. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the concept that we learned in the universal gate lecture that how we are going to realize this XOR gate by using the NOR gate. So let me tell you one thing, we are going to use five NOR gates to realize the A XOR B operation. So let's do it. Let's make the five NOR gates. This is your first NOR gate. And as we are going to require the 5, I am going to copy it and then paste it. We require our third one. So this is our third NOR gate. Then the fourth NOR gate here. And finally the fifth NOR gate. Okay. So let's connect them this is our A this is our B now A will be one input to this gate and the second input will be B the output of this first NOR gate will go as the second input to this NOR gate and also as the second input to this NOR gate fine the output of this NOR gate will go as one of the input to this one and the output of this NOR gate will go as the other input to this gate. Now we want to complement the output of this gate. So what we will do, we will use an OR gate and the output of this gate will act as the two inputs to this gate. It means the output here will be complemented at this point. Okay, This is acting as a NOT gate. We already know this thing. Now if you want to check it you can check it follow the gates and try to find out the output here here then here finally here and then take the complement you will find that it is equal to our difference d which is a x or b fine L let me t tell you how to do it do this this is a here okay and at this point we are having what at this point we are having a or b and then it's complement so what will be here? Here it will be A or A or B then the complement of A or B and then the whole complement. Fine. So let's simplify it. First I will use the De Morgan's law in this one. So I am having A A complement this OR will change to AND and then B complement and then whole complement. So you know how to do this this is a distributive law so by using the distributive law i am having a or b complement fine this is a very important law that just i used here there are so many boolean expressions that can be minimized by using this one so you should know this thing i if there is anything like this you just take the variable here and just omit the variable which is complementing in the second one and take the another one so I omitted A complement, I took the B complement. Now we will use the De Morgan's law again and I am having A complement and B. B complement and again its complement will give us B. Now you might find it same as our borrow. This is A complement B and our borrow is also A complement B. So there is no need to use a single gate more than this 5 gate to realize our borrow. You can just take from here your borrow which is A complement B. So this is a very simple configuration by using which we can realize the half subtractor and remember this is the minimum one. The minimum number of NOR gate has been used here. Okay, so you just keep th this thing in your mind and use it directly whenever it is asked in any exam. So we are done with this. In the next presentation, we are going to realize the full subtractor by using the NAND gate. So see you in the next one.